get to the point where we could have a really good control of the game. You know, we made some little mistakes and, and key moments and we just couldn't quite sustain some drives, but I love the fight of this team, you know, and, uh, you know, they're feeling the passion in that locker room right now, but they did it for each other. You know, I'm proud of them. Um, we didn't play our best game, but that's a credit to USC. You know, they're, they're, they're a good football team and I think they showed a, their complete team. It seemed like USC did a good job, kind of taking away the middle of the field for you know for the Cougar raid. Um, was that kind of uh, what you saw, or was it just not there for you? A combination of a lot of things. I mean, we we lose Renard early. He's our middle of the field speed guy, make people miss. Um, we had a lot of things designed for Renard in space, and you know it just wasn't the same with him down. But I'm proud of the guys that came in. You know, Ryan Peters made some plays. I thought yeah. Will Ferrell battled through the whole the whole game and. We just didn't ever get comfortable enough to take the ball down the field and get them off a of play action. And just, it's just one of those games. I, I give them credit; they did a good job defensively. You know, what kind of was the main problems here? The offense was running into in the second half. What kind of catch you guys off the board? Like I said, just that first down success. I mean, we just haven't had an opportunity to just keep things moving and play with tempo and. You know, just little things here and there. It's never one thing. You know, I thought the protection for the most part was solid. Um, but breakdown at times, and you know, Cam made some plays, and we got to stay on our reads, and we got to trust some of the runs. And, you know, the run game and the explosive runs were what was the big story in the second half. And, and they allowed us to maintain some momentum throughout the game, but it wasn't enough to really punch it in and finish. And we just didn't get, you know, those big drives going in the second half. Uh, defensively, though, I, you know, after those first two USC drives and their kind of march, there, what, maybe adjustments you guys made with what areas do you think you started? Playing? You know, we talked about coming into the league. I, I think uh, Coach Riley and USC is as good as it is in attacking what you do. And, uh, you know, kind of saw us playing a little bit and then just had to adjust. And it was never perfect, and we were constantly adjusting throughout the game. I just, there's an effort to this team, right? There's a heart to this team. I think that's what you saw really on both sides of the ball. but. You know, defensively, they never quit. They got some red zone stops. It could have turned ugly there. It kept us in the game. You know, just proud of all those guys and, and how much they fought today. Coach, um, I know pretty quick after the game. Anything on, on Nakia, Renard, and Armani? It's hard. They, you know, we, we ended up uh, losing a lot as we kind of kept going through it. So we'll kind of see what uh, what happens when we get back there, but nothing right now. Uh, you know, you guys were top 20 and, you know, avoiding penalties this year, 11 of them. And we're not going to use it as an excuse. You know, it was. We just we made some mistakes in, in cre you know, key critical situations that really hurt ourselves. I mean, the, the red zone opportunity, you know, lining off sides twice, jumping off sides in the third down, all things that we kind of knew that they were going to do. It's just those are little things. And, you know, a lot of the penalties, I'll, I'll take aggressive penalties. I'll take within the whistle, cutting it loose, playing fast and aggressive. And I'll, I'll get a chance to look at a, a bunch of those and um, the operation of the game and, and the refs. We'll, we'll kind of sort that out as we go. Coach, what's next after a loss like this? Well, right now, it's it's picking the team up in the locker room and, and those guys just being ready to go. You know, there's, like I said, those guys left it out there. They have each other's back. Um, I just think you go through a, a, a tough, I don't know, a tough loss, but a, gut, a gutsy loss like this. It shows the, the type of passion of this football team, but we come back ready to work on Monday. You know, that's what we talked about in the locker room. We're in the Pac-12. We've got another tough opponent this, next week that we got to go on the road. I mean, that's what it's like to be in this league. You know, so we got to make sure that uh, we learn from this. There'll be a lot of things where we feel like we could get better, including myself, and uh, we'll look ourselves in the mirror and pick it back up and be ready to go for next week. Just I can't hear you. How helpful has Deion been? Deion's been everything, you know, and uh, I really appreciate Deion today. There was a lot of emotion for this game. You know, even when he said he was coming, you know, the new NIL, I mean, there was a lot of things that uh, that other team did to try to get him to come here. And he kept his emotions. 
And I, I know Dayon chose the right place. This outcome doesn't change that. And I'm proud of this kid. You know, he fought the whole game. I mean, this was uh, it's an emotional deal for him. I think he showed a lot of maturity. And, you know, I'm proud to have him on our team. I'm proud to, you know, fight with him. And I, I thought he was uh, as advertised today. The last one. Uh, Coach, uh, Jalen Jenkins really, really exploded. Uh, it, obviously, his best game in, in, of his young career. Just what did you see from him? Is what kind of that maybe that coming of age game, um, you know, and probably the, the biggest spotlight he's played in? Really proud of Jalen. Really proud. And I, I told him, I told him today coming into the game, you're going to make a big play. And he went down there and did it on the pass, and he just lit up with a smile on his face, and he just played ball. That's what he knows how to do. But you see the type of game-breaking speed he can have in the open field. And there's been glimpses of it this year, but then now for him to, you know, get his knees up and break some of those tackles and go, I mean, it was a, a great performance by Jalen and one that he has worked hard to get to this point and to do it on this stage. I mean, he's never flinched. Playing as a true freshman, he's been ready to go since day one, and I think this is just another step in his journey. And and uh, as we keep going, we got to make sure that he's ready to go. It seemed like you guys were able to contain uh, Caleb Williams uh, relatively well and pulled him to super efficient game but how were you able to do that and did they kind of change their style also it's the same thing coming in like it's you watch the tape he's so dangerous when he scrambles and we weren't able to pin him in there you know and uh, to his credit i mean he's a great quarterback but you can make him stand in there and throw the ball you feel like you have a chance and i know that's a weird thing to say and that's not a knock on him that's not it's just what you need to do because he's so dangerous when he gets out there as a runner and uh you know, hats off to him. He's a great player. He made a lot of great big time plays, what uh, big time players do in those situations. So I uh, give credit to them, but uh, you know, we had him a couple times and he just got away. All right, coach. Thank you. Thanks, coach. All right, thanks, guys.